Well, Diagwitch, Makupla Kara, and welcome to the second map of Comrade Taken on Method. Comrade, starting out on the Axis side, they won the knife round, so they've opted to begin here. As we see things pretty standard in terms of a buy, Axis going for full Gewehrs. And the Allies just taking a bit of a mix. Two grease guns in the mix so they can have the smokes in play. And towards the B side already, they've already got the theater control or cinema, as us Europeans call it. As they make their way out towards the bomb site, though, it's not going to matter about theater control because they're already down two players. As the Axis find those kills with the Gewehrs, Rebirth is trying to come in for a flank to help out his teammates while Toxture still holding over towards the A site. Now, with a two-man disadvantage, Dean, I wouldn't really leave somebody watching for the flank. I think they're going to need all of their folks on that side for the push. Maybe not, though, if Rebirth's stepping it up like that. Yeah, found themselves two kills. Eventually does fall and return to Sam. But a 3v2. Still a recoverable position. Everyone going to have to push into this bombsite together. ToxJ and Canaler, that is. Sam going to peek out. May have the opportunity to find this kill here. He seems to be cautious that the player may be trapped in behind this box. What a shot! Gets the head! And now it's all on to ToxJ. Left in a one on three. In towards Cinema. Or as you said, it's theater by the Americans, which I'm going to have to agree with. That actually does make more sense. Because it clearly is a theater. There we go. Finished off. 1-0. So your G picking up the opening round. Uh, CRG looking good with that first round, the dominant opening there, finding those two kills despite cinema control being taken. I'm switching in between calling it cinema and theater. That's uh, the standard uh, is is cinema, I believe, in Europe. But I have heard a couple of people call it theater. But that is, of course, the position outside of B, which, oh, nice kill by Supreme with the nades down middle. Which, I mean, obviously the cinema position looks like a cinema or a theater. And that's a very important piece of the map if you want to take control of the B bomb site. But we'll discuss and for that. Entertainment. Sorry? And for entertainment. <laughs> Keep yourself uh, motivated during war. Indeed. Well, I, I don't think they I don't think the cinema would have been uh, active if there was a battle currently going on. Gunshots you never know, some people are very determined. <laughs> Indeed. But it's positioned by Fido, not gonna work out. Yeah. I mean it's expected at this point though. Passive holds on A towards the tram with the player up on top of that light, uh, light uh, post is very, very common. And so that coming in, a good prediction though by Method to be able to land that shot and suspect it. As that 4v3 begins, Method Toxture is making his way towards B, about to catch Elvzoi. Out from behind. Oh, never mind. Turns around with a shotty and finds that kill. Moffer's spotting him out initially, but as the rotation comes over from Sam on B, or on A, sorry, we can already see Supreme is the only player there to defend. Well, that was only for a moment. As the rotation came back in, Sam found one. No time left, really. The bomb had to be planted, but QWERTY being taken down eliminates that possibility. And uh, Something I think is, is important for, for those of you that might be new to Battalion, it's important to note that on this map, we see a very heavy weighting towards the Axis side. It's incredibly common for nades to come down middle early on, so it delays the allies from rotating towards that B site. And that stops them from getting cinema control. And cinema control is so important because if you don't have control of that theater, of that cinema area, it makes it so difficult to push into the bomb site because once the Axis gains control of that, they only need to worry about the choke point that is the broken house and just be short in general. That's one little angle with a tiny bit, maybe a 10 degree variation of aim, if you're looking towards it, that you need to worry about. It's nothing. That's so easy to shut down, especially as we see a shotgun in play on Elvzoi. Impossible. And the other thing... So as we can see now, the ally is taking control of cinema. But as they're at a man disadvantage and Toxja lurking over towards A, they have very little push power as they make their way to the site. And they're doing actually something even worse. 
they've gained control of cinema, but that's the only position they have. And I'd argue that's even more of a choke point than just conventionally going in through short. Fi making his way up short means that the Axes literally only have to worry about cinema. Of course, the flank is coming in from Toxture, but it's late. It's so late. And as Supreme rotates around, he's going to spot him out. As they push out cinema without the flank coming around because it's so slow, the kills are found, although Toxia opens up A, the bomb's down on B, push comes out from Canaler, but he's not going to be able to find anything, and that's just sloppy from the attacking side there. I mean, like, look at Cinema. Look at how narrow of a doorway that is, that you're trying to push three players out while there's three players defending. And I think the flanks are being focused on maybe a little bit too much on this attacking side so far, especially when they lose the opening advantage. And they're gaining very little map control towards the bomb site that they want to execute. And as we saw there, Fi claimed back some map control. They didn't know about Broken House or Short. But as Fi aggressed up middle and found that position to be open, they only have to worry about cinema as the push comes out. And it just makes things too easy. Indeed, a quick 3-0 start for CRG. As you said, very favored toward, uh, heavily favored over towards the Axis side. For sure. It's still early days. What would be um, what would be kind of like the sweet spot for Method where they're in a good position? It's not too bad. It's, it's not amazing either, but what's the number they're kind of looking for to be moderately happy swapping over to the Axis side? I think they're looking for about five rounds here to be feeling okay. Uh, f four rounds is, is doable. Five rounds is okay. Six rounds is good. Uh, on the allies. How we're seeing things go down so far, it's certainly looking good for the Axis. We're seeing an opening kill towards A, and again, very spread out by the allies here. They were just trying to get a little bit of aggression going on A. They suspected that it was possibly a weaker defense because Toxtra was able to so easily creep his way onto that A bomb site in the previous round. This time, it doesn't seem to be the case. The Supreme's taken a more aggressive stance with the shotgun. He'll now back off. We see Fi going to be occupying the same position up on top of the lamppost. Sam's actually there in middle to help him out, which means the B defense is a little bit weaker. But the reason for that is they've already got cinema control, and we see Moffers picking up a kill there. As now, Elvzoi is going to be creeping in to trade out his teammate, because Moffers does fall, but his teammate's there to trade it out. So Rebirth falling means the bomb is down in cinema. Man advantage for the Axis. They know it's going to be a hit towards B. Sam spots one out of mid, so Elvzoi knows at most there's one player close to him. As the rotations will come around to help out, Canaler's best chance here is to catch Sam off guard. That will be difficult to do, although he does manage it, loses a tiny bit of HP, but that regen comes in relatively quickly. QWERTY coming in on a flank onto Supreme, who in turn is trying to flank Canaler, so it should work out well for QWERTY. Supreme shouldn't be worried about his back at this point, especially not this early on. He's only just made his way to sight, and QWERTY is right behind him, but Elvzoi's got a good angle here. As Canaler finds one kill, it's all onto Elvzoi. His position is known. They at least know he's towards Cinema, but the time runs out. I didn't even check the time there, but it's just too slow for Method. That's that's a shame. That should have been their round. They knew where the last guy was as well. Yeah, that's, that's heartbreaking. Every round at this point matters, and that round on the Allied side picking up one would have been really nice, but instead the time runs out. A fort is picked up for CRG. Of course, they have to go for a lot of reinvestment after losing the majority of their players. But, um, they have still a pretty solid buy. Moffer's actually going to go into that car 98. As you can see over for the Allied side, it's not really perfect. They have a couple of nades. They have two Thompsons and three Carbines. And actually an opening kill to be found in their favor by Canaler. Takes down Moffer's early on. Looks like they're actually going to just walk straight up to that A-bomb site. And as we can see, that nade opening it up actually pulled everyone off of this side of the map. Fi now being the closest player, he should be able to get himself into a decent position. But of course, as we can see, Method, they're playing this contact. They're not actually going to be making noise in their approach, just creeping up towards the bomb site, which means by the time they're actually spotted, they'll be in the site itself, basically. Although this could be dangerous as they make their way around through the little alley. As we can see, Fi being cautious of this himself comes away and spots out a couple of players and does some damage, but now needs to be cautious of players on both sides. Oh! Rips us. Indeed, let's get the uh, the candles in the chat. But it's a 3v3. It's not necessarily ripped for either team, though, at this point. At least it's still going to be open to a retake coming in from the Axis, but good positions being nailed down here on the allied side are going to make it difficult for this retake to come through. As we see Elvzoi. About to go in for the peak. 
And he's going to find that win with the shoddy. That gives the man advantage over, but time ticking away. Rebirth and Canale just need to find themselves a couple of kills to deny that bomb plan from coming in. Rebirth comes in with one, but that defuse is not going to be able to go down. Look at that from Canale. The quick double spray down. As they're too worried about the angle for Rebirth. Good team play coming in there. As four to one. And maybe a little bit of a misplay. I mean, all of the axes went in through the same angle. They all went onto the bomb site. They were in a small little radius of maybe two meters. It's so easy. As Rebirth peeks up there, he spots them all out. Even though he only gets one kill, he knows the other two are there. Did a bit of damage too, but that wasn't really too important because the position ultimately is what it comes down to from Canale. So little time, he takes down the bomb planter, just keeps on tapping and finds that second kill. And then we actually see what I was talking about. See where the allies are right now? They're stuck towards car. It's like 20 seconds into the round and they can't move because of those nades constantly coming over from the axis. That allows early cinema to control to come in from the axis, although they're not actually going for it. They've given up the control of that part of the map despite early pre-nades down mid. That's a little bit of a shame. I, I do like to see the early axis control in there. We saw the impact it can have a couple of rounds ago when Moffers was there, finding himself some up close and personal kills. Elvzoi then trading him out. This time though, Moffers with a passive position towards upper as four players make their way into cinema. Actually probably better that he isn't in there. If he was at least peeking towards the upper part of it, which he would have had time to get there to at least get the jump on them. He would just have spotted out the info that they're pushing in there now. And the first contact of info is going to be the spam coming in from Canalo and then the smoke going down on the site. This isn't good as Cordy finds an opening kill. Elvzoi going to have to have a good performance. Low HP on Toxtures. He's eventually taken down. But Elvzoi is going to be dropped. Still that man advantage for the Axis. There is no, there are no nades are in play at the moment to deny that bomb plant. Moffer's position has been spotted out. He's worried about upper cinema as he should be. Canale is starting to make his way over towards that angle. Moffer's peeking in there. Rebirth finds one kill. If this can be found now by Moffer's though, it will be a 2v1. Canale is so low. Supreme comes in. They've got to get on that site though and get the defuse. Rebirth trying to clutch this out. He's going to bring himself onto a 3k if he manages this. The defuse being tapped, though. They're just going to be watching for the peak towards the door. And there he goes, flying away into death. Five to one. These rounds are clocking oh, up for the Axis side, as we would expect. But they're starting to gain a pretty substantial lead. That said, though, Method were slow starting up on the previous map on their Axis side. Perhaps we'll see a similar performance on their allies with the latter few rounds starting to swing into their favor. Method are at least making most of these rounds pretty close, which is good to see. They're keeping themselves in it. Keeping the damage going in towards the CRG side, although they have a pretty solid economy now. And of course, as we can see, Method going to struggle to get a solid investment into this round. We do, of course, have a pause coming in. Uh, someone lagging yet again, I think. It's actually Sam this time spiking pink. Yeah, indeed. The uh, the connections haven't been the strongest from the Swedes so far. <laughs> Swedish internet is dead. But with the uh, five to one scoreline, I think Comrade are going to be happy starting out here. But knowing how they lost the lead on the previous map, they're not going to stop. They won't be happy with any number of rounds. They want to claim this fourteen to one and. Again, like you said, these rounds have been closed, though, by Method. They've been able to at least bring it down to 1v2s in a lot of these situations, which is, in a way is a little bit worrying because nades haven't really come into it so far for the Axis. They haven't really been hitting them too much. I think the most impact really, the exception of Supreme with the double, the most consistent impact we've seen come out from the nades is just slowing them down, crossing over towards that B side. And it's not really being taken advantage of by the Axis, opting for a more passive hold on that B site, not even an info play towards upper. Now it worked out in the previous round. Moffer's been able to stay alive in the flank coming around through mid to pincer the cinema player. But had he been dropped, that round would have went completely differently. And Method certainly would have walked out ahead of that. And leaving it down to an aim duel between one... Well, between, between two players, obviously. 
um, not one player. But leaving it down to just one player to take a 1v1 is possibly just a little bit too risky to what I'd, I'd like to see. I'd, I'd like to see these nades coming down mid early, at least. If you don't want to hold aggressively in cinema, at least have somebody spotting it so that you know, oh, there's four guys running in here. It's probably going to be a B hit. You can have the rotation come around from A and leave one player there lurking it. And then you've got a very heavy presence on that B side. And as they push down through a choke point, which again is something Method are doing. They're taking cinema a lot, but they're sending a lot of their players there. They have to push out through very narrow angles. Um, and they're not really splitting in through short, which is a little bit unusual. Generally, we do see more of a split. So far, it hasn't really been working out too successfully, but uh, I imagine we'll see a bit of a change there. More players making their way towards short with the split coming in through upper. Yeah, still fairly early days for them to kind of realize their mistakes, try and fix them and get more rounds onto the board. But uh, a very solid start for CRG, leading 5-1 already. Hopefully all the issues will be resolved soon. Sam still up at 60 ping, so he's spiking just a small amount. At least it's not Moffers on 600. That's better. Slightly better. Ooh, Sus is actually really struggling so far in this game. Zero kills and six deaths. Yeah, but it can be hard on the Allied side when you're pushing in. I mean, if you look at Derailed in general, it's very different to the likes of, let's say, Manor House, which we'll see up next. To give a quick, a quick, <laughs> a quick comparison of the two, it's like a lot of the angles you're pushing in through as the allies here. You think about even mid. I think mid is probably the most open angle that you're going to go down. That's just a very narrow tunnel. Um, you're talking about a. You've got obviously the same mid there. You've got the doorways, the little hall. B uh, similar. You, you've got the the house and then cinema, which the push out of there is two doorways again. It's next to impossible to actually find yourself in a um, in a position where you're pushing towards a site not from a choke point. And the problem with that is obviously eventually someone is just going to be first out. Someone's going to get picked off as they push in. This time though as the push comes in, Supreme isn't going to be able to capitalize on any kills. As they make their way towards the A bomb site, the nade not going to land either. Sus on that site with a Tommy gun in hand is shot from the side. But doesn't the kill isn't landed, which means Supreme has to back off that angle. His position now given away. Moffers finds one. Toxter, who was trying to aggress onto him. One man disadvantage, but the bomb site under the allied side control as they'll be looking to get that bomb down momentarily. No smokes in play to block off the angles. They have to rely on the opening kills as Sus gets peeked out by Supreme, though. We're down to a five versus three. Rebirth going in for the same angle, but that trick isn't going to work twice from Supreme. What will work, though, is a current idea K from Phi. Eliminating Rebirth. Although it's traded out, the man advantage still sits with the Axis, who all only, only have to deny the bomb plant at this point. Bomb planted. Yeah, the deny not going to happen, but Moffers quickly finds a frag, leaving it now all onto Canaler. 1v3, he's in on the site itself, just hiding in behind the bench. And he's looking for the prime opportunity to try and actually pop up and find these frags, but it's not going to be easy with three players. Should see a pretty quick trade being found, even if one comes in for Canaler, and that's not even going to be allowed. He comes in from five, he's taken down. Six to one is another round that's found for CRG. And of course, there's plenty of time for that Defios. Bomb Go ahead and I was going to say see if they can find a few tokens first, but I think they may have retrieved most of them already. These rounds clocking up for Comrade are looking a little bit, a little bit too convincing right now. Method need to start pulling it back. Close rounds aren't going to matter if they're not going your way. As things diverge, at least there's not going to be any opening nade kills this time for the Axis. That puts Method in a better position as they begin to slowly but surely make their way towards an A push, it seems. The bomb is going to be sitting outside of Cinema. So very spread out once more. They're just trying to poke out the A defense and figure out exactly what's going to be going down. A 
with a decent enough hold coming in from Fi. He's going to be spotting out with the car 98k and just pushing those allies back a little bit. Supreme sitting around the A side as well. He's just watching the angles, making sure that the push isn't actually coming in on A. They still have got two players on the B side now, spotting out the players making their way up middle. We'll see the rotation come in from Elzoi. He's still there waiting for that push to come in. They should still suspect it to be B, as indeed they do. Three players there. Sam picking up one. Trades come in, though. Sorry, Sam didn't even pick that up. It was Elzoi from upper. As he backs off, it's a 3v4. Method, one man up, bomb side under their control. Moffers could have some huge. Never mind. As Kanala takes him down, any impact he could have had from that good position is going to be taken away. As Sus finds one on the fly as well, and picks up a Karn IDAK, presumably. Or not. It's just going to be a one versus three, and Elvzoi, despite getting two kills into this, isn't going to feel all too confident about picking up that ace. Yeah, not going to look to go for it. Just save over the STG and the Thompson, of course. Uh, we will see still a good buy coming out in this next round for CRG, but a second round to be picked up now for Method. And Sus as well, getting himself onto the scoreboard. Welcome, bro. <laughs> could have, could have been the team ace if Rebirth had got the final kill. I think for a, for a minute it was 007. I think he had an assist the entire time. Did he? So it's just 07. Plus it's KDA yeah, in this game, so it's 070 even if he goes like that. Yeah, indeed. So it doesn't work here in Battalion. He needed to be kills, assists, deaths rather than KDA. Petition to get a change so we can see people James Bond. I'm I'm down for that. I do quite like the 007s. But two rounds now on the board for Method. They're looking to claim at least four. So I think they're going to be hoping for five. With how the previous round went, certainly things were starting to look up. The faster hit over towards B should probably be the favorite attack at this point. Not something they've really tried all too much. Dropping the smokes and just pushing out without everybody going in through cinema, of course. It's funny, because I see a lot of teams actually generally pushing in through short as opposed to cinema. Generally only sending one to two players up through there to try clear out the upper angle while the rest of the team pushes in through short. Whereas Method seem to be flipping that completely. They're generally ignoring short and going in through cinema. This time, though, Sus and Toxture are going to make their way through short. Rebirth in cinema and QWERTY trying to get the flank. Fi is watching for that flank, though, with an STG. Going to take down QWERTY. And so now they've lost a man for nothing. As the push still not coming in onto the B side, of course. It's not going to be great because all they get is a little bit of information. Hey, there's one towards A. Well, that doesn't help the B push. As there's going to be three players there. Sam is taken down by a nade. But not before he can dispense a little bit of damage onto Sus. Who's now going to be hesitant about re-peaking. As indeed he should be. Moffers peeking over towards the upper cinema. As Elvzoi is going to be taken down. Moffers still sitting in this position. He's been there three rounds in a row that they've actually gotten on that B site. Moffers has been there. He almost takes down the planter. He's going back out to try and eliminate him. But look at that HP left. Rebirth survives. So too does Moffers. As this... Turns into a 3 versus 3 that doesn't really favor the Axis. Despite the angle that was being held by Moffers, he probably should have been able to take that planter down. It's made things a lot more difficult now that he hasn't. He suspects a player over towards Lightroom as he's going to be pushing in. Will he check his close... Oh, no! Why would you check close right and not left? That's upsetting. Fi is... You, can, you literally... He has one pixel of health. That's not even an exaggeration. He literally had one pixel. As he retreats with the STG... 3v1. Not a winnable situation, and looks like it's just about a savable situation. Yeah, and slowly, Method are beginning to pull themselves back into this game. Once again, the save is allowed. Fly carries over the SDG at least. He can spread out some tokens then, and they should be able to get an okay investment that's not going to be spectacular. They may just want to consider going for that. Kind of one eco, but as you said, four rounds is decent enough already on the allied side for Method. So, ideally, you don't want to give away 
rounds at this point when they already have three. As you said, they'll be looking for five or six to be happy. And uh, they're halfway there already. Still early days. And it definitely seems like they've adjusted a little bit now to what you were kind of saying. And as you can see, Rebirth already looking to try and just push in towards B. But with smoke's going down, they do kind of just slow it down for a couple of seconds. Never mind, Sus was actually playing around the right side of it. He found himself a quick kill onto Elvesite. A spam looking to try and follow it up, but he's not going to connect too many shots. But Rebirth, he's ready to pounce. Takes down Sam. And suddenly it's a two-man advantage in favor of Method. Still one player up on the close left, though, that could potentially catch some off guard. That's Moffers. And yeah, it's not going to be cleared. So a free kill for Moffers gets the second onto Sus. Will he find any more? That's the question eventually to be shut down. But in the meantime, Fi was able to find one. Taking down Query to equalize it once again in a two-on-two. <laughs> 45 seconds position. remaining. Supreme's position as well. He's gotten aggressive all the way up on A with a shoddy. He spots Tox you're making his way towards B. That's just going to feed the info to Fi right now that the push is about to come in. Gets himself in a better position. And this should be a shutdown from the Axis right now. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult indeed. They don't clear the right corner. Fi whips the shots for a couple of moments, but eventually gets it. The bomb it will at least be planted. That's an extra token. That's one positive, but... Not going to find any frags, sadly, so a seventh for a CRG. But yeah, the extra token, that was at least a nice thing to find. That'll give them a pretty solid buy into this next round, actually. You can see Rebirth, he's going to have eight. They, uh, they're lacking a little bit onto both ToxJ and Quirty, but maybe they can be donated a small amount from Rebirth, which will allow for them to get a, a good buy once again. And yeah, there you go, Rebirth. Spreads a bit of the love. Donated two over to ToxJ, I believe it was. Allows him to get a Tommy there. Well, he actually still has two. Not picking up an A just yet. And it looks like Rebirth's coins are going to be just kept in the bank. It's now 7-3. to three, A four-round gap now sits between Comrade and Method. As Method are starting to chalk up a relatively good scoreline. They want to claim at least that fourth round. That is a minimum here on Derailed. But five, I think, will be okay. That's a pretty demanding win rate, though. Especially when you're on a... I suppose both teams are on a bit of a mix by now. All manner of weaponry in deployment from the Axis. And so the Allies might find a decent enough line of combat as they push in. Fi, to open things up, taking down Sus with a nice headshot. Sus is not having a good time at all on Derailed. As Elvzoi manages to find one of his own, it extends the man advantage further in favor of the Axis. Sam being pushed down, though, will have to retreat with the Gewehr. That was risky running back across. He almost got caught out by Rebirth. Spray down. Ran in between bullets by the looks of it. As it's going to be a 2v5. That kill could have been huge for the Allies. But without it, and with them split up and the bomb down on the opposite side of the A site. It should be next to impossible for them to actually capitalize on this. Yeah, looks like this should be another round for CRG. It will indeed be because of the time running out. So there we go. Canaler gets one kill at least. May allow for him to survive. He's been hunted down but will eventually fall. That's only Rebirth that's actually allowed to save over, so 8-3. to three. Looking good for CRG in this one. We, um, we need some mods in the chat, that's all I can say. We need mods in the chat? Yeah, we really need mods in the chat banning people. Fair. I I've asked for a mod many times, but Sean doesn't like me. I don't think anybody likes you, Dean, to be honest. Yeah, they all love me. <laughs> exactly. Howie, stop stealing people's jokes. Pretty sure Saint just said that about two yeah. minutes ago in the chat. God damn it, Howie. Pay attention, man. Well, Elves always paying attention to Toxia as he takes him down with the Tommy gun. Cinema Control was not looking all too great. 
for the allies. They might be able to pick up one kill. Indeed they are, as they're going to be able to drop it down Elvzoi. They've still got to worry about Sam and worry they will. Well, I suppose they won't because they're dead. And so he picks up a nice 2k. Sus is trying to eliminate him, but he's got a nice little angle. He's not going to be peeking that either. It's just suicide to peek out there. Letting his teammates hold the other angles and make sure the plan is not possible. Indeed, the plan is going to be impossible because the bomb is down at the top of the stairs in cinema. And as the push comes back through, Sam doing really well there. Th this is what I was talking about from Comrade, and I'm, I'm very glad to see it actually come out. You see what they did there? They went aggressive in upper. Sam, in there instead of Moffers, is able to get all the way up. Spot out the info. Hey, there's some players in cinema right now. The push was also coming in towards lower and if you combine that aggression in cinema with the nades down mid early round you gain so much map control for free because they cannot cross if you throw those nades properly there we go sus opens it up nice little opening kill to actually put this round slightly in favor of the method side Continues to push in towards B, and sadly with his teammate not close by as he goes down, the trade will not be returned on. So a 4v4. Chance for the bomb at least to be planted. There's no nades currently in the possession of the... Oh, there is actually in the hands of five, but he wasn't able to get it off in time. But bomb planted four on four. Let's see if this retake is going to be successful. Fi actually does go ahead and claim the life of Rebirth already. Right now they're going to just be picked off one by one. Tox-J and Kanala are able to find one each. 2v3. Make that a 1v2 instead, rather. As it's all on to Moffers. Pushing up close with the Carbine in hand. Will spot out the first player. But he gets taken down. Tox-J taking himself three kills in that round. And confirming a fort for the allied side. Method, if they can pull this back up to six, that would be perfect. But that's not going to be easy. CRG, they're looking for, ideally themselves, double digits heading into the second half. We've seen that, of course, previously over on Liberation. They did end it with a 10-5 to scoreline at the halftime, and obviously that wasn't enough for them. True that, but it is going to be a different map right here. If you're looking at the allied side of Derailed, you're going to need a lot more rounds than you would in the likes of Lib when you move over there. And if 10 to 5 wasn't enough on Lib, I fear for them if they only grab the same scoreline here on Derailed. But different map, different players, different match. Let's see how. Well, same players. But same players. <laughs> exactly. Different same match map. as well. It's just a different map. You're only right on one of those three things, which. Uh, it depends. I mean, I, I view each each map as a different match. You know, you're coming. No, because it's a best of setting, three. Different setting, different Mitch. economy. Mitch. It's on Don't on the stupid. level. On the level of the actual gameplay that you're going to see come out, it's a com it's not a continuation. It's not the same as but it the is likes of match. Yeah. the best of three matchup. Yeah. Three maps to be played, which make up the entire match. But, uh, yeah, but four on three right now. It's not like a half of football. It's a different pitch. What? I don't know. It's it's a it doesn't. Four on two. Not looking too good for the allied side right now. As it's left all on to Sus. Trapped on the bomb site. Trying to escape away. He has been spotted. Thompson not ideal for the long range encounters, of course. And now he's pinned down. Four players all focused on his position. I really don't favor his chances right here, but at all. He should be taken down pretty easily. I think he's just going to try and maybe save his weapon. But no. Okay, the bomb was to just tap that first turn and bait out the peak. And eventually Sus finds one, but that's all he's allowed, so... 10 to 4. CRG, if they can find 11, they'll be looking pretty good heading into the second half. 10 is still solid enough, but as we said on the previous map, it wasn't enough. And with this map being even more axis sided, they were probably looking for a little bit more. So 11 would be nice for them. Yeah, 11 would be sweet, but we said coming into this, we want Method to be sitting on five rounds as they cross back over. Setting currently on four. They're just one away from that goal, but 11 to four are going to be a pretty even half for both teams, I think. 
The spray down comes over towards mid. Fine, not able to connect any kills. Toxture to open things up towards B. That's Elvzoi. He's had a lot of impact on that site so far. And as the push comes in, I venture to say the allies are in a much better position coming towards this bomb site now. Moffer is going for a little bit of aggression towards cinema. He needs to get the information on whether the push is actually coming in there. Holding down a slightly aggressive angle, of course, with the MP40. Doesn't want to take the long range peek because he doesn't know what will await him there. But he does need to go over the info at some point soon. We see Sus spamming down towards that bomb site. Here comes Moffers. He spotted out too. Pushed up close though. Not able to find the kill. The M1 Garan's going to take him down. As the push comes towards the site, it's only going to be Fi and Sam to hold down. Supreme still sitting towards mid, waiting for the flank, which will never come. As five players are going to be assaulting this bomb site. Huge performances needed right now from Fi and Sam. Two players that can usually step things up, but they have to do it right now. More than ever, Supreme comes in with a nice nade from mid as the bomb is now going to be planted. No nades to deny it, but two smokes in play. They could get the retake if they can make their way out onto the side and find the kill on the QWERTY. Just holding down MP40 in hand now, not able to find the kill. The smokes out already as it's a two versus two. Supreme has to go for the reload, sadly. Looking for the kill over towards the broken house. They need to take him down to get the defuse in. Indeed, it is going to be landed. Toxic, though, looking for the spam in through the smoke. Not landing all too much. Supreme on 50 HP. The body shield almost coming out from Fi, who gets eliminated. Oh, no, that defuse wasn't being stuck, though. Supreme with a 3k is going to need the fourth. And indeed, he does find it. 11 to 4, as we see a pretty nice scoreline coming out for both teams. I think... Uh, it's, nobody's going to be too happy. Nobody's going to be too disappointed. Have Comrade time. had a pretty good start to their allied side over on Liberation. And it just kind of slowed down as things went on. And hopefully this time, that start is just going to continue on into a victory. So we can see map number three coming out. Because, of course, it is 1-0 to Method coming into this. Yeah, going to have to be... A solid access side now coming in from Method. Far on the allied side, not terrible, but they still have a very uphill battle to try and fight into this one. Nades early on, not going to really find too much. Did slightly delay the cross. And for now, we can see it is going to be... Stupid map key not working. It is going to be just a, a bit of a split coming in from that allied side. Most of their focus, though, is going to be put mostly over towards B. They have three players grouped up. Or rather, two players grouped up over on short, a third towards the tank. And, um, Method have gotten aggressive in towards the cinema. They have Rebirth actually pushed up. So a lot of control to be taken for the Axis side on this hold. Comrade, again, going to be going for a slow round. and That's what kind of screwed them on Liberation. But they've already gained a lot of map control. They're coming straight down mid. Method starting to return that by taking outside of B. But the battles coming in are going the way of the allies, at least for now. Low HP on a couple of the comrade players. But they are going to be able to regen that. QWERTY looking for some frags with the good old reliable popcorn rifle. Hasn't even got the hazard skin on it. Come on, QWERTY. The Canaller finds one kill. QWERTY landing a lot of damage. But it's not going to help out all too much. One kill does get landed eventually, but he's so low right now, he shouldn't be able to survive that indeed. Good, does get taken down by a knife, no less, from Fi, as Supreme eliminates Canaller. That's oh, just going to leave us into a one versus three. Rebirth has to make the retake happen. The Hazard skin in play, but unfortunately, he walks right into the Hazard of the bullets flying through the air from Fi's gun. 12 to 4, the initial round picked up by the Allies. As they'll now be able to get those Tommy guns and Method could be in a little bit of trouble as the potentially very fast push comes down. This is a round that hopefully we can see the Allies win out. As they should be able to get one or two strung together as they're on a better buy anyways than the Axis. And as well as that, losing out that initial round, or indeed winning it even, just the first two or three rounds in general, result in no grenades to be used by the Axis side the majority of the time. To sacrifice your weaponry for the names if you want. As the push comes in, two kills already for the allies, but they've left the bomb behind. Yeah, that could be a little bit awkward. Yeah, I've gone ahead and retrieved it now, though, bringing it over as Rebirth looking tempted to push out. Spots out one player up close. That was five, of course. Doesn't want to continue taking that fight for now, so he is just going to back off and. 
You can see Gritty actually looking to try and come in from behind. He only has a shotgun though, so that's going to be a pretty difficult weapon to try and pull the retake off with. As right now, a perfect position for CRG. Looking likely to find themselves a 13th round unless you see these players really stepping it up on the retake. Awkward fight from offers. Up against the shotgun though. First crit, he has to close in the range and actually he will make it work. They you know all the shots beforehand fight. Looking to lock this down. He spots out the player who was up close. Peeks back towards Cinema and eventually gets that frag onto QWERTY. And follows it up with a second, of course, on towards Rebirth. And it closes it out for CRGs. They take themselves a 13 to 4 lead. We um we seen them having a 13 to I think it was was it 8 lead, I think, in the previous map. That did end up falling apart, but this time they have a little bit more buffer room, of course. It's 13 to 7 actually at one point. Oh, okay. So yeah. yeah that's six round lead. Three extra rounds as a as a buffer, though. Yeah, I mean that that's quite a lot. But as we see the initial nades come into play for the Axis, not necessarily in this round. Like that, that was a little bit of a of a gamble taking up that nade. It means you've got one less MP40 and two Gavares in play. So nade not working out as it's spotted by Comrade it doesn't really pay off. It means they're at a disadvantage economically. Actually, they're relatively evenly spread. This Fi hasn't forced up any uh, utility all too much. It's only one extra SMG on the allied side. But the lack of nades are really going to hit the axis here. Kills come in, fly in here for the allies. And as the push comes up mid, Cordy's about to be spotted out up close. Not able to hit the shot in time on the Fi as the bait and switch Wrong. occurred. And it's all on the Canaler, who's going to be one versus five. And I wouldn't even be surprised to see him going for the save. He hasn't got that much time. He has a close range weapon and retake a relatively long range sight. And every single angle on B to clear if he does go for it. So not worth it. It looks like he's also thinking about the save. But that's going to be 14 to four. Comrade so far ahead right now. It's going to be really, really difficult for Method to get back into it. They're going to get three tokens at the end of this round. Oh, Fi actually sp spots out Canola as well. I was hoping he'd go for the knife there, to be honest, but... He's not going for that much disrespect just yet. Doesn't want to lose over that Tommy he has in the smoke now. But yeah, I, I think, like, right now, the three token on each player situation we have coming down means that they can go for Gavares and Nades. And indeed, that is what they're going to go for, prioritizing those grenades. Certainly a common enough strategy. But deploying them effectively is going to be of the utmost importance because they haven't got a lot of rounds to go by to try and uh, effectively grab some opening nade kills. It has to be now. And with them all deployed and no kills being landed, puts the allies in the upper hand. Utility deployed towards B. Not landing any kills just yet. But still a lot of smokes in play. Four smokes to be found. Great play from QWERTY, though, finding that double at top mid. And the bomb now dropped. The aggression towards B is going to have to take a little bit of a slowdown. Or rather, it's going to be forced into a slowdown now. Is the Whoa! That is a wall bang from Rebirth. In through the box. Finds the kill. And leaves just Supreme left alive. One versus four. I don't rate his chances here. I'm going to say 14 to 5. Yeah, should finally be Method picking up a round. Supreme just in towards Upper Cinema right now. Kind of chilling. Waiting to see if anyone is going to gift themselves to him. I don't think that's really going to happen though. Method don't really need to push forward, of course. The bomb have also been down over towards the tank currently means... It's impossible to be retreated by Supreme at this point, so... The only hope would be for all the kills. I think he's just hoping to try and save the time and... That is, um... That's very sad for Supreme. He was uh, slowly swapping back, before uh, back and forth between both positions for so long. And uh, the second he looks away, the peak comes in. Nice shot down middle there from Cordy to open things up as it looks like B is going to be under siege yet again. 
Comrade not really liking that A side all too much. They're going to stop liking B pretty soon if these kills keep coming in. One on the cross and one on the site. Which puts them in a pretty bad position. You can see how spread out they are. Sam sitting towards the A site. The bomb is outside B. And Toxic actually rotating around towards the Axis spawn. Rebirth up close is heard getting that reload in. The screen should know that he's there. Spam comes through. That's Elvzoi finding the kill. We're back to a 3v3 still. Sam needs to cross back over and grab that bomb, but he might not even need to as the kills keep on coming. Supreme taking down Toxture there. Brings it to a 3v2. Tokens to be picked up all over the place. And the bomb still to be planted. Luckily now, of course, we have got the impenetrable bomb site. And so once Sam lies down there to get that plant in, he will be unkillable. No nades to deny the plant as well. Of course, he is killable if somebody can get an angle on him. But if you look at the positions of the Axis right now, they're not going to be able to do that. Oh, the gun model got in the way. Supreme taken down by a 10 HP QWERTY. That is upsetting. But now as he pushes out, it's a 2v1. Two Tommies in play. It should be very difficult for him to find this with just a Kaver in hand. Not quite spotted out Sam just yet. As he peeks out, his teammate will swing in. That's Alvzoi to help out with the Tommy. And 15 to 5. A pause coming in now for Method. In what we can only assume to be a tactical. And indeed much needed with one round left to go. Before the third map will have to be played out. Yeah, this is looking like we may indeed see Manor. And it's a bit surprising because I honestly thought this was going to be a very solid map for Method. And you can see so far they really have been struggling. And I guess that's because everyone in CRG really has had their moments so far in this game. Supreme has been playing pretty well. Fi, of course, as always does. Elvzai up there at 20 frags also. Uh, I think Supreme has been kind of... He, the, other, the other players have been kind of more consistent. They've been finding one to two frags every round. Supreme has just had a few rounds where he's really just taken it over all on his own. We've seen, of course, some earlier 3Ks on that retake. Sure, he was able to find the 4. He's just had lots of kind of rounds where he's been the one that just won it single-handedly. Similar over on the first map as well. He had some pretty good impact there in a lot of the rounds. I don't know if... Um... If this is really a fair scoreline, it's certainly not what I would have expected. I mean, if you look at the first map, Liberation was so close. Each team had a pretty similar performance in each half, but I think maybe Method have just given away too many rounds that it's so hard to swing these rounds, to string all these rounds together now. Like, you've got to have so many consecutive wins, 10 rounds in a row. Although it is the Axis side and favoured, it's hard to go 10 rounds in a row without a single player making a mistake that's capitalized on. As things... As things progress now, the nades are not going to find any opening kills. The bomb still in spawn. Not sure where it's going to be brought because as we can see again, Comrade are going to be spread out early on in the round. Sam finds one kill. I think it's even harder to string those rounds together in general on the Axis side because if they just keep throwing themselves at sites, eventually someone misses a shot, that site falls, and then it's all over. Like, to string 10 consecutive rounds on defense is just so hard. You've got to be so on point all the time. You don't know where the push is coming in. Every player has to be alert and hitting their shots. As we see... Canal are not going to be hitting his shots on A. The site will fall, or at least would, if QWERTY wasn't there. His teammate quickly rotating in as well. Rebirth there to help out. Moffers should be dying because he's very low HP, getting challenged by Gewehr. Spots out QWERTY, making his way towards the back of the site. This could be the round. Rebirth is going to be spotted out, finding one kill in the process, but eventually falling as well. And 32 seconds left on the clock. Certainly is time. For Supreme to make a play, but unfortunately, there's no health for him to do so. 15 to 6. As we go one round closer to an overtime, Method still 9 behind. It's unlikely, Dean. How do you feel about their chances on the Axis side here? Uh, Yeah, I'm not too optimistic. I think... um. I think if they can just start building up the comeback, get some confidence going, then heading into Manor House, put up a better... Uh, 
put up a better result and just aim for the win there. I think that's more likely. I don't see them being able to actually pull this one back to overtime. Nine rounds in a row, 10 in total is probably a little bit too much to ask of them. But uh, yeah, as I said, if they can just kind of warm up and get ready for the third map, that would be ideal. But there we go, Canaler opens it up into this round as they gain the man advantage. So perhaps this is an opportunity method, uh, for a method rather, to try and start pulling this one back slowly but surely. Sam needs to be cautious, taking the fight up against Canaler, and actually it's going to be Elvzai who's there to give him the assistance. Quickly claims a headshot to pull it back into a 4-on-4. Four four. Yeah, it's certainly going to favor the attacking side now, spreading that defense nice and thin. But still two players towards each side. It's only really mid that's a problem right now. But as we can see, the Allies not going to be exploiting that. Rebirth goes a little bit aggressive, spots out three players, and then just backs off. Nice and slowly. He's going to be pushed into, but Toxture towards Upper should be able to do a lot of damage. He's got himself an M1 Garand. Hits some shots on the fire and Elves, Elvesoy catching me off consistently. But he's not able to finish off the kill, sadly. And with the smokes going down on the site, the bomb plant should be possible now. Trades come in, but it's the allies who find themselves ahead. A 3v2 is underway. One player still going to be over towards Cinema. That's going to be Rebirth. Find himself a 2k. And now it's only Supreme with the bomb plant. No time left. He has to stick that plant. He's just going to go for the kills. He knows where Rebirth is. But he doesn't go for the kill. Expects Rebirth to have rotated around through the back of Cinema. But sadly, he didn't. And so he's just going to save over these weapons into the next round. And low HP on Rebirth. Just one bullet was needed. But again, they just barely close out that round. 1v1. Goes their way. But again... Only one mistake in that 1v1. That's all that's needed. A little bit more time there for Comrade, and they have it. If they play that just a little bit slow, a little bit faster, sorry. It's all theirs. If they happen to land one more shot or method miss one more shot. It's coming down to such a narrow margin right now. And so eventually, surely this defense will break. Yeah, quick play looking to try and come in towards A right now, as we can see. Pushing this one down. Canal are going to be in an awkward spot. Going to be finished off by this shotgun of Supreme. Masus is there to at least trade out one, but Sam on the lurk. He'll be successful at taking down QWERTY and claiming the man advantage in favor of CRG. Four on three now. As Sus is going to have to step it up massively on the bomb site, and it's not going to happen. As this looks like it could be the end of it. Especially with Fly claiming himself another kill, leaving it all onto Tox J now, who's... Likely to follow it up quickly. Fly with the final kill. 16 to 7. And we are indeed going to head on to Manor House. Yeah, good 